Hello, everyone. Welcome to today's webinar. Happy Thursday. Um, thank you so much for taking time out of your busy day to join us. Uh, my name is Jenna. I'm with Emerging Destinations. We represent cool companies in cool places. And today I'm being joined by Paul Jones, who's the founder of AeroCruise Air Charters and Safaris. Now, this will be the first time that you've heard from him um, and the company um, as the introductory to the travel trade um, on behalf of Emerging Destinations. So I'm so thrilled to have him here to introduce um, his company and what they do. Uh, but before we get to that, I'm just going to do a couple quick uh, housekeeping notes. So this webinar will be recorded. So if there's any reason that you maybe join late or have to jump out early, um, we will try to keep it within that 30 minute mark, but we understand that people's lives are busy. So we always do record our webinars and they're posted on our Emerging Destinations YouTube channel and our Emerging Destinations website. So that's where you can go and find all of our previously recorded webinars. Um, and then also we will be doing um, a Q&A at the end. So this is a really cool company and there's lots of different unique things that they can do. So hopefully um, throughout Paul Jones' presentation, you'll be able to uh, think of some questions to grill them on at the end. Um, but I think that is it for me. Um, if you do have any questions for me, my email address is jen at emergingdestinations.com. Hopefully everyone is familiar with me by now and that this isn't your first Emerging Destinations um, webinar, but if it is, I will also be sending out the recording and the follow up. So if you do have any questions for me about any of our other um, Emerging Destinations clients, then I'm more than happy to help you out with those. But I think that that's everything that I'm going to say for today. I will come back on to ask um, to do the Q&A at the end. But at this moment, I'll pass everything over to you. Thank you very much, Jenna, for the introduction. I'm very grateful that I'm here to uh, meet everyone who you've been working for. I'm so sure you represent cool companies, but you're also a cool company, I would say so. And I'm very glad to be working with you. It's such an opportunity and a pleasure to be here with you. And um, I want to bring you greetings from uh, Kenya where I am right now. And uh, um, I know there is so much going on, but I think we're gonna leave that to, to, to that, but we, we are safe and everything is going on well. So you shouldn't be worried of whatever news that you're hearing out there, but we are very great that uh, we are here to share the great news of travel and just um, enlighten you on what is going on with our company in Africa and what we are doing. And we just hope that at the end of the day, at the end of this channel, you'll be able to um, enjoy yourself and have learned something, one or two things, and also be enlightened. Uh, all we look forward to is, is, is uh, that you get enlightened, you have enough knowledge to be able to sell the destination at it, as it is, and be able to know the products and services that are out there for your clients, a special products that uh, probably could not find anywhere else uh, off the grid trails as well. So um, thank you so much. Uh, I'll just dive into the the immediately into the introduction. So um, um, I'll introduce myself for the founder of AeroCruise. Um, uh, we just changed our logo a bit recently, not a few days, uh, probably a month, a few weeks ago. We just uh, rebranded onto this, uh, just to represent on who we are, what we do. We are people of the runway, the road, and logistics, basically. So we just wanted to uh, let everyone uh, have a proper representation of who we are and what we do. So, and what exactly uh, we intend to do with your guests and yourself um, in Africa and what exactly we really want um, our guests to live with, um, having immersed themselves into everything that we do. Um, so, uh, we were found in 2012, of course, earlier on that we, uh, I'll give you a brief history of who I am. I'm, I am myself an aircraft engineer a bit. Um, so I have worked so much, some, I worked so many years on the tarmac. As an, as an aircraft engineer, then I moved into technical records and I moved into quality management. And later on, I, res, I, I, I left to open up this company that was in 2012. But uh, through the years, I've had the opportunity to really interact big time in aviation. That's why it was the core of our industry. We started out in aviation and then um, some other things came cropped along the way uh, uh, as a result of clients requesting for things that they wanted to. And, and you realize that they wanted over and over, they wanted to request one client wants to request for transportation and goes 
and then you want a, a plane, then transportation, then um, excursions. So that's how we moved into the travel bit of it. So that's Aerocruise for you, uh, but sorry for that interruption. But we found in then in 2012, we registered the company in June 7th. That's when the company started. And we, uh, from the aviation side of it, we started doing uh, um, mainly air charters and concierge. So we, and then we moved into experiential travel. Now our latest product, which is meet and greet, and of course freight services, but freight is mostly uh, to other clients as well. But I mean, we do freight around Africa and, and across the world. So. That has also been one of the things that we do. Uh, we are located at Wilson Airport, as you can see. That's the main airport. We have satellite offices in South Africa, Uganda, and Tanzania. So South Africa handles the southern part of it. Um, it's a remote office, so uh, but it does handle the southern part of it. And then we have the Ugandan part of it office, which is uh, my second home, I would say. And I have then Kenya. Everybody sits in Kenya. Most of the guy, the team sits in Kenya. But uh, then we have Tanzania, which handles now Zanzibar as well by extension. Uh, so Uganda office handles Rwanda as well for us. So we are much distributed that way. Um, our services last year, at the end of this last year, we went global in most of the things that we wanted to do, especially with air charters. We were limited so much into Africa, flying across Africa. But I think after last year, we moved into the global part of it that we wanted to do charters uh, globally and started moving in and out of Africa uh, because you realize there's so much traffic now coming into Africa, but also there is equivalently enough traffic that is moving out of Africa as continues to grow um, uh, uh, significantly. So one of the things that also what we do as uh, Zero Cruise, one of our core principles is to do is to have um, all our profits, 1% uh, of that profit be taken back into, um, into the communities in collaboration in space for wildlife and other sustainable partners uh, in terms of projects that we do together and just bring back uh, that part that we, who we are. We are people of community and I think uh, it's very, very important that we bring back and that what we've gotten into the communities that serve us and we are we are beneficiaries as well so yes we've been able to take a few projects that we are like take kids to school uh, do a number of things uh, in their communities uh, support with food like remember during covid we are supp doing supplies to communities every now and then because they had not so much because there were no tourists coming in so most of them were relying on handouts and stuff like that so we did our part. Um, it was little, but we did our part uh, to sustain the communities as well until tourism came kicked in. Um, so I'll move to the next one about my story. Um, I said we, after 10 years of serving in aviation as an aircraft engineer and a quality auditor, there's so many things. I'll tell you my story. There are so many things I used to see on the tarmac as as the founder. And when before I opened up this company, which was uh, which bothered me a lot. Uh, the way the guests were being treated, the way uh, planes were being handled, uh, whether they are dirty, they didn't uh, care, uh, whether they, they, they thought about the guests in terms of their, their um, uh, detail, um, aircraft detailing, food, and, 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 and small things like those. And, um, but sometimes you have no will to make a decision. And, I moved in, that's what pushed me to move into quality management to help uh, move and look at things from a different perspective and help companies in a different perspective. So, but as life goes on, you know, there is nothing, there's, there's so much you can do, you know, until you realize, hey, you know, this is probably my own personal thing and I, I need to do it in the way I feel very comfortable. And it's only when I create my own space that I'm able to emphasize and, and, um, and take care of that. Then I can be accountable to so many uh, other people as well and areas. So I've I've really grown to understand that bit of it and also understand what clients want, what they like, what is doable and what is not doable. Uh, because most of the times when you request uh, something, you 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 will not realize what it looks like. 
uh, there's some so, such a big difference in Africa and probably the outside world, how people, how things are done and how you realize that um, we are so much different because what is available in Africa is not probably, uh, in, in so what is available out there is limited in Africa. So you have to work with what is available, but can you get the best out of it that is available for your guests to be able to enjoy his safari without, with all these fears and um, notions and things like that, be able to understand that they're comfortable, they're coming to a place and they're going to be welcomed in uh, with people who understand a, a bit of their culture and their understanding their fears and will not uh, look at them as if we are, they are the victims of the same. So we are committed again, um, uh, we wanted to give back to really value. That was the whole life, the whole instance of this whole thing. Um, also explores areas where people have never gone to and never been to. Uh, they had the opportunity to fly across Africa. I'll tell you the fact Africa is very beautiful. You cannot even imagine how many things are out there um, are missing. Uh, how many things are out there that have never been explored, sorry. So it's a very beautiful continent and you need to explore it in very many areas, um, not just as a tourist, but also an explorer in other cases, go off beat, do things that you've never done before. So it's been my passion over time to, to just look at uh, Africa in a different perspective and be able to, to deliver as well to, the, to those who, uh, who, who desire more into, into it. Um, just to add to that, we are very, very committed uh, and accountable. That's the most important thing. We are very committed and accountable and resilient. Over time, we've gone through times that we cannot imagine, but we've been here. And you uh, can imagine this is the, about the 12th year, but uh, uh, quite a number of people don't know so much about us because we've been very committed to that small clientele and that uh, very focused on that gradual growth. Uh, which is very, very important to us. So we are not just into mass, but we're just into taking care of our guests the way it should be and listening to them and hearing them out. And also lastly, but not very important to us, we are very driven by uh, the spirit of Ubuntu, which is we are because you are. You know, this is our community. This is how we do the things. And we believe that if we are able to express and appreciate everyone around us, then we are able to grow and become better. So I'll move into the next one, uh, which is just one of the sayings I love hearing out where when people ask me, why don't you leave Africa? Why don't you find somewhere else to go? Why, why are you always living in Africa? I'll tell you for a fact, I love Africa. And I believe in Africa that one day, uh, it is already what it is. It is my dream. I love it and I love things here and I love welcoming guests and I love seeing them live happy, looking forward to come back. So this is one of the things that I always knew that I keep saying that I never knew a morning in Africa when I woke up that I was not happy. When Ernest said that, said that Hemingway's, I think it is just resonates with what my heart was, uh, is right now and will be in the times to come because I have looked at savannas, I've looked at areas where I never believed that I, it would happen. And I'm very, very grateful every and every day that I can wake up in Africa. It's such a privilege to wake up in the wildness. It's such a privilege to just move back and forth, enjoy, welcome guests, see them smile, see them cry, going back home, and they just want to stay back in Africa. And that's what we live for. For me, that is the everything for, for, for in this travel industry. Uh, to, uh, just to explain more of what we do, uh, we are basically broken down into two uh, uh, areas. That is air charters and concierge, um, which we do in some of the areas, as you will see, uh, where we're covering some of the areas we're covering. We're covering East and Southern Africa, as you can see, um, and some of the islands as Zanzibar and, uh, and, uh, and Mauritius and seashells as well. We're covering there. We work so closely with uh, where we can, but we don't have an office in Seychelles, but we have a very, very close partner, to be honest. So we work with there and we are very, very glad, but we are happy to assist all in East and uh, Southern Africa. So you have such a big advantage and have such a big um, partner right here. 
I will move to take some of this to show you some of the things that we've been able to do over the years, land in the wilderness to uh, not crazy things. I mean, this, this is what we live for. I live for such moments when I am able to uh, bring the guests into the wild and land anywhere and do, do things that probably they wouldn't have thought that would be done. So some of our safaris are very, very unique, very uh, customized and tailored to the needs of the guests and exactly what they're looking for. So of course, I, la I work with quite a number of people. I work with my wife, uh, who is the managing director. Um, I work on, this, uh, on the other side as a CEO, but I, even, I always prefer, not the title, I always prefer the part of serving than the title. So if you find me watching and welcoming you, please, uh, accept my gesture of welcoming you into the country. It's not for me about the title. It's a service industry and I love serving anywhere. You'll find me. It's my duty and it's my, uh, it's my desire that uh, I serve you in any capacity. So I have the head of operations who is Edmund, who's always helping us. And as well as other people who are not here, uh, but their faces are not here, uh, who serve in the air charter departments as uh, the um, as the coordinators as well and the and the sales, we do safaris, and uh, some of them who are sales representatives and sales uh, uh, um, consultants as well. Uh, you find them. Some of them uh, talk to them as you send in the inquiries. And we have the marketing also headed out with about that that does, and we have logistics on grounds, and which does most of the DMC work. Uh, moving the vehicles and, and all that. Um, all these uh, cluster of people help us move and synchronize things and they're all knowledgeable in the things that they do. They will advise you, they will talk to you. And we are very, very boutique in nature that we, we love being close to the guest and to the client or to the agent to be able to understand the need of the guest because we are very focused not to let the guests uh, lose out on so many things. So I'll move on to the some of the th areas, of course, the beach experiences. This is Diani, one of always, sometimes, most of the time voted as the best beach in Africa, um, always handy with Zanzibar. So you can finish also safari and by extension come to the beach. So you may be asking why Aerocruise, why I have probably um worked with other people but why i mean do i have to work with you um i will tell you for a fact that all our profits one percent of that profit goes into back into the communities uh and then you want to know that why also that we are also a one-stop shop um i have designed this in a manner that the moment you arrive in the airport you're picked by us at the meet and greet you're taken out meet our uh, transfer vehicle to your air, to your to your to your hotel, uh, checked in, get on the plane uh, or the private charter and fly out and go, and we're able to welcome you back into the country and sorry, welcome you back to the, from the bush or to the beach or from the beach, and be able to uh, continue with your journey back home. So we try and help uh, maintain that you're dealing with one person or through not just several service providers who are who probably you cannot control the quality of, of events in between there and some things happen sometimes and uh, so we are very boutique as well with our hands on people we are always available 24 7 my phone i think i don't know um i'll wake up in the middle of the night answer your question always available for the guests that's how we work because we know the importance of having somebody on safari away from home and quite important I, we have an extensive knowledge of Africa uh, in the Middle East as well. I've been very, very glad to just uh, move around all these countries and be able to bring the best to Africa. So I have explored this country, this continent, and just looking forward to exploring it more and more. And uh, I know what works, what doesn't work, where, how, when, and exactly what you need to do to know. Um, Added to that is that you have access with us, working with us, you have access to over 3,000 planes, 2,500 almost airstrips across Africa uh, with a global reach. So you're not limited, whatever you need, we'll always find it for you. We'll always sort you out, take care of you um, across this continent. It's our job and we have built those links and connections just for you 
to be able to not deal with the many or not be worried or anxious for anything, but be able to sit back and focus on selling. Um, we also 24 seven, as I said, our phones are always, the operations phone is always on. My phone is uh, always on. And I, we are very, very glad and open to share it with our, with our partners as well, just in case they need anything in an emerging situation. Um, also, we are very transparent in our quotations. You know, you pay what you really, you know what you, you're paying for. So, and we do that a lot for, for all our guests, so for all our clients, so that they can know what they're paying for and they sort of get value for what they're paid for. And also you mitigate a lot of risks in terms of saying, sending money across many suppliers. So you just send it to Aerocruz, we'll do the rest for you. Uh, if instead of sending to other different suppliers and then you run into risks of, of low money losses and all that, and even just uh, commissions and all that. So you want to maintain the same supply chain and then everything will be taken care of. Uh, we have access to some of the uh, hidden and offbeat experiences as well. Our experience team is hands-on and, and is hands-on and uh, as well as our partners. So they we really, really work with uh, professional people understanding the where we go and doing the things in the best way that we can be able to do it. And when you have, of course, access to the best contract and service level payments, and of course, commissions to our agents. Um, and last but not the least, we have annual travel opportunities and incentives. And this is, goes back to your hard work, which we always say, hey, you know what, that we, this is our way of giving back to our, to our agents and clients as well, uh, by extension. So this work, as you may ask over time, at least a farm trip in a year, depending on the value pro, value that we have had to share. So, but we are glad to share all those requests with you. Um, so some of the bush helicopters um, that we go on, um, I'll just try to wave through very fast. Uh, some of the private charters you see, uh, we do air taxis, air safaris, experiences, scenic flights, joy rides, medevac response, uh, we've done this to very high-end lodges as well. Some of the guests coming in that might have medical equipment issues. We've had uh, help them into getting into the wild and picking the guests up. So I think it's a good time. It's a good thing that they we share these numbers as well. Wildlife movements we have been able to help into conservation and moving around animals and sometimes flying them around uh, to replenish conservancies and all that. So these are some of the the area of road safaris. This was a sunset uh, ride uh, with the guests in the Mara. We just parked somewhere and we we're just enjoying the sunset. Um, some of the planes, how they look like um, in the VIP uh, bush planes and we just try to be specific. This is how the sitting looks like, some, some of them. So really we try to be, to offer the guests the best that we can. And some of the excursions in the bush uh, with the guests living um, on off the helicopters and moving into the wild to enjoy a scenic flight over Mount Kenya, uh, as you may see. Uh, and also, this was that this was uh, a photo uh, a photo extract of Lake Magadi. Uh, probably when you look at it, you won't even believe. Probably you think it's a painting, but this is an aerial shot by one of the photographers who are with on the trip. And he came and shot it and shared his image and shared his book with us. And it was such an amazing experience just to look at these images and how phenomenal uh, these uh, lakes can look. And this is just algae. This is actually algae on Lake Magadi, uh, which is a salt pan area. Uh, some of these areas in Northern Kenya as well. Uh, this is Suguta Valley, one of areas you can't experience by road, but only by, by air. Uh, so by helicopters landing in there and doing some things, phenomenal places, we'll considered to one of the hottest places on this on on on, on the planet, but very very beautiful. It gives a it brings out the complexion of feel a uh, desert feel, but as well as wild in its own way, and such a phenomenal place. Plus the sand dunes just create such a phenomenal thing that you uh, it is out of this world. Um, you do this. This is also one of the 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 the, um, the cones that uh, the volcanic cones that was formed out of a lake within the Rift Valley and people don't know about it so much but it's called the Teleki cone. Uh, 
you can see down there there is a helicopter right in the red red right here so you can see there's there's a heli right here over here uh that heli is, is we we was actually taking photos around it with some of the area photographers and some guests along which hooked me along um so the concierge service as i told you uh we start uh, from the airport all the way the meet and greet and this we do it in kenya tanzania south africa rwanda and botswana oh these three areas are always into uh we are able to do for you meet and greet uh, on arrival and also discovers the area of our safari dmc which is also the ground handling services airport and road transfers hotel bookings and reservations the chauffeur services when you need to move around the yacht services as well along in zanzibar and uh, along the coast of kenya as well we are very glad and in cape town as well and then the vvip travel and concierge this is very very important because it involves uh, some of the celebrities which you've covered over time and very important persons who are needed who need to be escorted by a, a security person with a gun or somewhere who feels like they feel insecure and they need an escort so you don't have to fly escorts all the way if you have a celebrity that needs a special treatment we are able to handle them locally because as i said some of these things come with uh restrictions because there's so many so much paperwork that you have to go through as an external bodyguard to be able to take care of the guests on a trip so it's better sourced locally also they are more knowledgeable they understand uh, the the intel or and, and and the connections other than bringing an expert from out there so i always say that if you or you could get a backup if you're not comfortable but you need somebody around they're always available you can always uh get in touch with us and cover you on that place so we've done that for celebrities we've done that for uh vip and very uh vips and 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 and, and personalities uh in that case also we do a bit of ticket ticketing but this we do it in local places because we need to move our guests here and there um sometimes we need to to, to just put them on special ticketing and just uh, accomplish uh, what we need to do in terms of concierge um to our guests uh the other thing that we need to understand this is some of the stuff that you will meet with the happy smiles uh please be sure that you will not be met by gloomy faces but people who love you and are welcome into the country um uh, this is by extension another one and then some of the things that you want to feed an elephant some of the excursions you take probably just in nairobi and you want to extend or you are coming in a day before so you could spend a lot of time in nairobi or cape town or uh or um mainly or victoria falls do a lot of things as well in the day before you probably start embarking on your journey um this is gorillas in rwanda as well a very phenomenal photo taken but i hope you won't get scared but uh, as you may see these are some of the closest relatives that we have in the world um so uh, be be encouraged so these are some of the local communities that we work with and partnership for space for wildlife um we encourage them so we whenever you visit we will go with you uh see what exactly the impact of these women and men who are doing an amazing job in their communities with bead work and uh, be entertained a bit and they show you around their homes and they're welcoming you around their homes so it's a joy to see how much uh, they're able to, to 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 give to understand that you've brought glad tidings to their lives so it's a change it's a it's a chain and it's a partnership that we are very 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 proud of um uh, in the long run so again this is for the private jets that are flying out of of africa uh, coming in or uh, into the rest of the world so we've done that of course for uh, some of the guests uh, uh yeah they're able to find planes that uh, want to fly them maybe on emergency it was on a trip and it's a short exit or something like that to be able to sort them and we've been able to handle that and probably you wouldn't uh, business people and they're probably here to inspect or ceos inspecting uh, facilities on incentive trips we've taken care of that and we are looking forward that we we'll have a trip just out of uh into africa with just private jets and a couple of small groups and that we are we are happy to say that we're able to handle it in a very very comfortable manner um i'll move to the next one uh which is uh 
some of the clients that we've been able to and our partners that we've been able to work with i'll tell you for sure uh, some if you look at them and probably do your research uh, probably uh, these are some of the partners that we've been able to work with and work for and it's such a privilege um, and humbled that we are able to represent some of these big brands in the market especially in africa and uh, for us we are very very proud to to work with them and bring solutions to their lodges or even to their to their clients and uh, be able to take care of them uh, with that um, uh, you can always uh, reach out to us and uh, see what we can be able to do for you anytime you can always follow us on instagram facebook and 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 and, and, uh, and linkedin as well just to or trip advice as well just to see how it's, what much is going on out there and we are very, very glad. Please send us anything, any recommendation, anything, uh, 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 any, any comments. We are very, very glad to look at them and uh, and work on them. Uh, we are very teachable people. We love uh, we love being critiqued. Uh, we love because we know that's where that's where everything starts from. Uh, because once we have seen it, then we can be able to improve in it. And with that, we are very uh, glad that we're able to work with you and uh, send you out there in the world or your clients in a very, very uh, good manner. And we hope that they're able to enjoy it the best, the best way possible because they have us and taking care of, and us taking care of them. With that, I just want to say, Africa awaits. Thank you so much for listening to me. And uh, I hope you enjoy the, the representation and I just hope to hear uh, from you once again. Thank Back you so you. much, Paul Jones. Thank you for that excellent presentation. Um, just one, I think you've actually answered a couple of the questions that have come through um, in your last few slides there, but can you just um, tell everyone again one more time? I know you did touch on it, but what countries are you able to do the private air charters in? Uh, what we do is that we, we split, uh, the private charters are not limited because we have, uh, we do them across Africa and to by extension to the, to the global bid. But we have South Africa, uh, we're able to do them in Botswana, we're able to do them in, in, in uh, along the touristic areas, if, you, if that's a maybe, because I'm addressing, I hope most of them are agents. We're able to do them in South Africa, Uganda, Tanzania, Kenya, Rwanda, um and as well as uh zimbabwe and zambia uh the area that is very of concern and as well as tanzania which is now by extension zanzibar so we do I, i'm able to service you through the eastern southern africa which is now the area of concern but we as aero cruises we're not limited to that area it's just that this is the segmentation which for the market uh for the touristic market that we serve yes we're able to do that Perfect. All right. So I think that that answers actually everything that comes through. We have one comment here from Moni saying that um, she knows your brother, Andrew, and just came back from Uganda. So I wanted to pass that I'm along. That. <laughs> yeah. Yes. I'll, I'll make sure to connect well. you guys. Yeah. <laughs> um, all right. So I think that's <laughs> it for today. We will. Um, oh. We will um, make sure to, I'll, I will send out the recording and um, also a copy of the, um, the presentation for everybody so that you can have a look through that. But please feel free to um, reach out to either myself or Paul Jones if you have any questions. We're more than happy to help your clients on their African adventure. So thanks so much for joining us and um, stay tuned for our next webinar later this year. Thanks, everyone. Thanks. Thank you That's as well, Paul. Thank you so much for your time as well. Thank you. Take care. Yeah, bye.